Hey everyone, and welcome. My name's Aaron, and today we're taking a look at the Mojo Hand Colossus Fuzz. I'll be flying my 60th anniversary Thinline Telecaster through my Jackson Newcastle 18. And here is my clean tune.
have here the mojo hand effects colossus fuzz this is a big muff style uh russian civil war era muff vintage classic classic fuzz tones chops off a lot of the top end just sort of by default adds a bit of low end by default cuts the mids by default which they have a, a few fun little options for uh which i'll talk about in just a minute but this is uh, just a fun fuzz. Uh, you know, it's that classic Big Muff thing, which is, what's the Big Muff thing, Aaron? The Big Muff thing is that wooly, uh, sort of dark, rounded off, like you're talking uh, through a blanket sort of a sound. But then with this kind of uh, fizzy top, I say that a lot around here, fizzy top. A lot of pedals have a fizzy top. They have a few cool little options on this pedal. Uh, for controls here, we have gain, volume, tone and then we have this mids knob down here and then we have this three-way uh, selector switch in the middle uh, gain you know sort of brings up the amount of saturation and fuzziness volume obviously it's volume pushing into your amp tone is brightness overall and then this mids knob uh, what that does is it pushes the mids by by default a big muff type of pedal kind of scoops the mids and so they're giving you an option to kind of bring back mids. What I found when I turned that knob, especially like all the way up or higher at higher settings, was that it also cut the top end. So it's sort of like mids instead of top end, even if you've got the tone control all the way up. Let me just demonstrate that. I'm gonna crank the tone all the way. So this is like maximum uh, high end. Now I'll turn the mids all the way up. That's like, obviously it's more mids, but it's less top end too. So it's sort of, uh, I'm not sure uh, what exactly it's controlling, but it's it's kind of voicing those uh, that mid range a little bit differently. And then this three-way toggle switch in the middle here, I found in the down position, it had sort of the most neutral, if a fuzz pedal can be neutral, top and bottom end uh, as far as what it was adding. So... Flip it to the middle position, and it it shelves off the low end a lot. It just uh, it just shelves the low end, shelves cuts off the low end. So I think that could be good for like solo uh, stuff. You don't need a lot of uh, big low end, you know, when you're when you're playing a, a raging solo. And then uh, the top toggle setting was a ton of low end, so. So that top one could be sort of cool if you, uh, if you maybe push the mids a bit, add a ton of like gain and volume and tone, just like, 
everything at at three o'clock. <laughs> Watch out, dangerous. Um, I always record with my amp in this closet over here, and I love when I can start feeling through the floor um, the amount of low end, and I can definitely uh, feel it with that pedal, especially if I'm on the neck pickup, and I've got just everything cranked. <laughs> A lot of fun. You, you may hear, you may have heard that it's like noisy. I mean, that's kind of what you get with a vintage style Big Muff uh, type of pedal. And honestly, uh, you sort of want that messiness when you're playing that kind of sound. You don't want um, your amp to um, be, you know, perfectly quiet, you know, when you're not playing, unless you want to do a gated fuzz thing, which is fine. You know, for a lot of years, I didn't really understand fuzz pedals or their, their use. I was like, I, I didn't, it didn't occur to me to use one on a record or in a live setting, especially, but it was when I started recording a lot of stuff that, um, a common trick is when you're recording even like low gain guitars, let's say you're doing a pop thing or a, you know, a pop rock thing or whatever, you don't want like a ton of gain in there. And so you're recording sort of all these low gain, um, you know, sounds, which can be very beautiful and pretty and everything. But what I found is if you add a layer right in the middle, just record one layer of like bar chords with a fuzz pedal, like something like the setting I have. <laughs> It just gives this like power to uh, the low mids. And a, a lot of times when you record sort of modern guitars, low gain guitars, what's lacking is sort of those low mids. They have the sparkly top, they have the chiminess and the beautifulness, but to get that power, um, a little trick is to use a, use a fuzz. It doesn't even have to be that bright because you're getting like all your brightness from your other guitars and they're panned left and right and beautiful and stereo and everything. Do one like mono guitar, no effects on it at all. Dry right in the middle. That'll sort of like beef up those sparkly guitars while also sort of maintaining that more modern uh, sort of pop rock sound. So there you have it. The Mojo Hand Effects Colossus Fuzz. Really fun, Big Muff style fuzz. Check it out yourself if you get a chance. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. That's it from me today. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>